Alrighty, so now we know how to add items and categories and modifier groups. Let's go over to the next section in the inventory app, which is printer labels. So we're going to click on printer labels. And then we're like always, we are going to click the big green button on the top left corner that says add label. A printer label is pretty simple. It's just um, you're assigning items to go to a specific printer. So for example, if you have if you are a restaurant and you have um, you have a kitchen printer, like an order printer, you need to route specific items to that printer. So in order to do that, we need to create a label. So first we're going to name the label and that is going to be kitchen. Now, once we name it kitchen, we can go ahead and click done here. So now we go over to our kitchen label that we just made. Now we can start assigning items to this kitchen label. So we click the drop down on items, then click add. Now we can, this is one option we can just go through the entire inventory and just start checking off items that would print out in the kitchen to that label attached to that printer. Once you have your items selected, you can go ahead and click save. Now, there is another way to do this. Now, let's say if we go over to categories, this is a little cheat code for you guys. So if we go over to categories and we go over to the burger category, for example, you know what? Let's go over to the catering category. We click on uh, catering menu. We hit the drop down for items. And now we select this little box on the top left hand corner right next to where it says item name. Click on bulk edit options. Once you have bulk edit options selected, we could scroll down to printer labels. And we just select kitchen one, click save. Now 25 items, as you can see here, were added to that label. Now just to double check, we go over to printer labels. Then we go over to kitchen one. And now you can see all of our items have been successfully applied to that label. That is how you add labels on the Clover dashboard.